see that uh, all of you are doing great, yeah? Now, I'd like us to go ahead and uh, see on today's episode, but before I do so, let me briefly introduce myself for those who don't know me. Ich bin Lehrer Fred, that is, I'm teacher Fred, and um, I handle private classes uh, together with the team. If you're looking to enroll for any level, please feel free to comment at the end of the video, right? Now, today I would like us to go ahead and see this uh, Schreiben uh, video. I have a sample that uh, I'll be writing live to us, all right? Okay, let's go ahead then and see the question. Normally, when getting to do your Schreiben, uh, the first thing I'm always advocating is that um, establish, is it a friendly letter or an official letter? That's the first thing. Whenever you're writing, establish if it is a friendly letter or uh, an official letter. Okay, so here's, a, um, here's an example uh, for us. Uh, it goes like this. Sie, uh, Sie möchten, uh, let's just ensure you note it down, yeah? Uh, just a moment. Sie möchten, yeah, now that is the question, yeah? Sie möchten am Freitag, yeah? Sie möchten am Freitag, uh, you could copy down the question. So, let's see what is happening there. Sie möchten am Freitag eine Reise. Yeah. Sie möchten am Freitag eine Reise nach... Sie möchten am Freitag eine Reise nach uh, Australien nach Australien uh, machen. All right. So look at the following question. Uh, the first thing is to establish or try and understand what the question is. Yeah? Sie möchten am Freitag eine Reise nach Australien machen. So you would like to have a trip to Australia, right? And then uh, schreiben Sie an Ihrem Freund. That's the next uh, instruction they're telling you. Yeah? Uh, the next point says like this. Schreiben Sie, uh, I'm taking it slow so that uh, we copy it down here. Yeah? Schreiben Sie an, an Ihre Freundin. Schreiben Sie an Ihre Freundin darüber. So they're telling you to write to your friend about it. Look at that. Sie möchten am Freitag eine Reise nach Australien machen. Yeah? You would like to have a trip on Saturday, uh, that is on Friday, to Australia, right? So, schreiben Sie an Ihre Freundin darüber. Write to your friend about it. And then here comes point one. Point one tells you, tell her, wann. So, tell your friend, wann, when are you traveling? And then point number two, they're telling you, uh, welche Verkehrsmittel, welches Verkehrsmittel, welches Verkehrsmittel, uh, I'm taking it slow, so that um, you get every point correctly. Yeah? So, Sie möchten am Freitag eine Reise nach Australien machen. Schreiben Sie an Ihre Freundin darüber. Write to your friend about it. So, point number one. Wann? When are you traveling? Point number two, welches Verkehrsmittel? Which means of transport are you going to, uh, to use? And then lastly, uh, they would like you to state, wann, uh, wann kommen Sie, wann kommen Sie zurück? Wann kommen Sie zurück? Please ensure you're copying it down, yeah? Uh, for your revision later on. So, this is the question right here. Now, if I could ask the comments uh, below, what do you think this one is? Do you think this is a friendly letter or uh, an official letter? You can go ahead and share down in the comments below. Now, the answer is friendly because they've uh, clearly said here, Ihre Freundin, yeah? So, you would like to make a trip uh, to Australia on Friday, write you to your friend about it. And they were specifically saying, Freundin, right? So tell 
Ha. Van, when are you going? Number two, welches Verkehrsmittel, which means of transport will you be using? And then lastly, uh, tell her, van kommen Sie zurück? When are you coming back? So if I'm to write, I would go ahead and begin like this, just a moment. So if I am to write, I would go ahead and commence as uh, follows. So I would simply go ahead and say, Liebe, because I'm addressing a lady, right? Liebe, Irene, yeah? Liebe, Irene. Don't forget your comma. Liebe, Irene. And then because this is friendly, you are free to go ahead and greet. You could say, wie geht's? Liebe, Irene. Wie geht's? All right? Liebe, Irene. Wie geht's? Liebe, dear Irene. How are you? And then um, you could, could say, I'm doing fine over here. I'm doing fine over here. So I say, es geht mir hier gut. Es geht mir. Es geht mir hier gut. Es geht mir hier gut. Full stop, right? So I've begun. Liebe Irene, wie geht's? Es geht mir hier gut. All right. And then now you go ahead and see your point number one. Let's remind ourselves point number one. It was saying, van. So tell your friend Irene, when are you traveling? They told you that you're traveling. I'm Freitag, right? So I would go ahead and say, ich möchte, so I go ahead, ich möchte, ich möchte am Freitag, so I say, ich möchte am Freitag, right? Eine Reise, eine Reise nach Australien, nach Australien machen. Right? Full stop. Liebe Irene, wie geht's dir, Irene? How are you? Es geht mir hier gut. I am fine over here, right? Ich möchte am Freitag eine Reise nach Australien machen. I would like to have a trip or make a trip on Friday to Australia. All right? And then you go ahead to point number two. Look at point number two telling you Welches Verkehrsmittel. So tell her, which means of transport will you be using? So I'd go ahead and say, I could say, Ich, ich fahre, uh, ich fahre lieber, ich fahre lieber mit dem Flugzeug, ich fahre lieber mit dem Flugzeug, ja, yeah. Ich fahre lieber mit dem Flug. So, guys, I believe we are uh, noting it down, yeah? So, ich fahre lieber mit dem Z äh, Flugzeug, Komma, denn es weit. Uh, denn es ist, sorry. Denn es ist weit, full stop. So, you can see I've now taken point number two. Ich fahre lieber mit dem Flugzeug. I, am, I prefer traveling with the... Uh, the aeroplane, then as it's right, because it is uh, far, the place is far, right? Why it is far. Okay, after that, then I go ahead and uh, check the last point. The last point is, wann kommen Sie zurück? When are you coming back? When are you coming back? So I could simply say, ich komme. So I want to say that I'll be coming back when exactly. So I say, ich komme. Ich komme am, so I could say, ich komme am Samstag zurück. Ich komme am Samstag zurück. I'll be coming back on Saturday. Please remember that uh, zurück is a separate of verb, yeah? Zurück, komme. So, ich komme am Samstag zurück. Full stop. And then I could go ahead and complete my letter, right? Uh, maybe I could say, um, please write to me soon. Please write to me soon. Bitte. Bitte. Schreib. So, bitte. Schreib mir bald. Bitte. Schreib 
Mia Bald. Please write to me soon. And then I just go and just go ahead and conclude the letter by simply saying, uh, Bisbald, all right, Bisbald. And then you put there your exclamation mark. And then because it's friendly, only one name, Fred. Bisbald. And then you go ahead and conclude the letter. Just like that, you will have written the letter in full. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would rec uh, I would re uh, recommend you go ahead and copy down the question and the sample uh, just to ensure you continuously practice. All right. So, to ensure maybe you continue practice, I would like you to also go ahead and uh, take down this question. You could take down this question and then copy it and uh, do uh, write your own letter. You are free to share uh, with us in the comment section. Also, share with us where are you tuning in from and uh, which level you're currently doing. Damen und Herren, let me say, das ist alles für heute. Tschüss und uh, bis dann.